Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today I'm doing just a quick look at these four laptops. These are all X200 series laptops from Lenovo. I'm going to be doing a couple of videos on these, uh, just doing a compare and contrast. If you're looking, if you have one of these, looking to upgrade, uh, or if you're looking to buy one of these, kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at as far as performance, everything goes. But what I like to do with all of my laptops when I first get them is actually open them up and take a look at the inside. So that's what I'm doing for you today. First things first though, I did recently upgrade my toolkit. Bought one of these off of uh, Amazon, like 20 bucks. And I found it to be very helpful and useful. Uh, the bits are really nice. The screwdriver is pretty darn good. Um, so has some nice include accessories. So if you're looking at getting a toolkit to upgrade or you know make mod mods to your computer and don't have one, I'll put a link to these in the description. They're less than 20 bucks, so pretty good option. Now, going through each laptop a upgrade ability, we'll start off with the oldest one. Here we have the X220. This is not the T, so it's not a tablet. Um, it's pretty basic as far as what you can get access to. There's just these two covers here. This is for the hard drive, which is here. And this is for the RAM. You have two slots to upgrade. Uh, I do have two 8 gig DIMMs in there. It is DDR3, not DDR3L. So that is important if you're looking to upgrade this. It does not take the low voltage RAM unless you get low voltage RAM that is dual. Um, I know that is out there. So you want to make sure that it does support the full vo voltage. Otherwise, it will not boot off that RAM. Going over to the X250. Move this out of the way. This is the laptop I use for my kids. We have the extended battery. We have an SSD. You can have a, um, was it a 2240 um, millimeter uh, SSD in here? I have one of those. I might throw it in here for them for additional storage. Not sure yet. You do have a soldered uh, CPU. I need to clean the fan. It's pretty gross. And then you have the a removable battery here. I really like this design because it gives you both, the, it's the bridged battery. So you have the internal battery that isn't uh, necessarily user replaceable. And then the replaceable battery here in the back. That way, if you're doing a lot of traveling, whatever, you can carry a couple spare batteries with you. And that way you can switch um, out batteries and not even have to slow down um, because you will be using this while you switch to this. And then once you put this in, I'll use this battery and then I'll go back to using this one. Anyways. Um, just a nice feature on this laptop I really like. One drawback though, only one upgradable DIMM. This is DDR3L, so it's the low voltage. You want to make sure you have low voltage RAM. This RAM maxed out typically at 8 gigs of DIMM, which means you max out this laptop at 8 gigs. Um, there are 16 gigs out there. Uh, I've seen that they've worked, that they don't work. They're really expensive. Um, so if you want to spend that kind of money, you're welcome to. Obviously, it's your money but I haven't bought them ever, so I've never tested them to try them out. Because by the time I was spending that kind of money, I was able to get up to a higher end system. Next is the X270, which on the surface of things is both very similar and different. So it too has the bridged battery system. It only has one gig, uh, one DIMM for your RAM, but it is DDR4, which is upgradable to 32 gigs. I have a 16 gig in here because that's all I really need. You're not running in dual channel, but it is there for you. You have your hard drive. You also can have the 240, uh, the 40 millimeter um, SSD in here. And this does, it, even though this is an M.2 slot and I have an MVME drive in here, it still runs at SATA speeds. So um, not super fast, but it's faster than say a spinning drive, obviously. Um, they both have the X250 as well as the 270 has the expansion port for your docking station. And that looks like I need to clean this one as well. All right. And so now we have the X280. You have the much bigger internal battery that is not necessarily user serviceable. You're not gonna be swapping this out on the go. However, it is significantly bigger 
and it and the system itself uh, has a much longer use time on the battery so um, I've talked about this in previous videos that it's not that big a deal for me to have internal batteries on newer laptops just because they really do kind of last all day anymore and it's so easy to charge them off a of battery bank things like that that are you can use for multiple um, things uh, you have your NVMe SSD which does run at uh, PCI speeds uh, you have your wireless card and you can have another shorter um, I believe this is for the uh, cellular I think I'm not 100% sure I'll have to double check that um, and again CPU on all these is soldered you're not going to be replacing that a um, little bit bigger speakers on here but you'll notice one big thing this does not have upgradable RAM so this has eight gigs of RAM that's it can't upgrade it can't downgrade it the only thing really that you can do on this system is change out your storage for faster storage so that's one thing that disappoints me in this i would really like to have at least 16 gigs of ram in the x280 so but i would have had to buy a different model to do that which would have been more expensive um, this has some features i really liked and it was a really good price so that's why i picked it up Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, anything you'd like to see in the future on any of these systems, let me know. I'll do my best to answer those. Like I said, I'll be doing some performance tests and things like that with these, so do look forward to doing those videos with you. On all these systems, all the covers, they are held on with captive screws, which is one of my favorite features, because you're not having to worry about losing any of your stinking screws <laughs> after you unscrew it. Um, they're pretty easy to get off with the toolkit. Has some uh, picks in there to go around the edge and, and take them off. So uh, one thing with these is being able to take off the full cover means it's a lot easier to clean and service it, especially like the fan. If you're in any kind of dusty environment, you can come in here and clean that. I actually plan on repasting these two systems today uh, from the CPU. They're both older and um, I have better thermal paste. This one, I don't plan on doing that to anytime soon, simply because disassembling it to the point where I can do that is a pretty big endeavor. I can do that right now with them disassembled with just taking off the cover and then four more screws for that heat sink. So anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.